Um, so here are my colors, and here are the palette knives. Um, there, yes, they are. One of them is a little bit shorter, and one of them's thinner and more detailed. So I'm gonna use the thinner, more detailed one. But I'm going to play with it. Like, if I don't like the way this works, then I'm going to go choose a different one. Here are a couple different options. It's bigger. You probably won't, because we're working on such a small canvas, you probably won't need this. But it's there in case you really just want it. Okay. This is something we haven't used before. It is a acrylic gel medium. This is used to thicken your paints because if we did not use this, we would be wasting so much paint to get the thickness that we need on this canvas. So um, it, it looks like a white paint, but it's not. It's more translucent and it mixed with, let's just um, do a red here. Okay, and we're gonna mix these. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you and say that it doesn't slightly change the original color. But do you see how that really is still pretty much red? Now, if I were to mix red and white, that would change it to a pink. That's white paint. This is acrylic gel medium. Um, we use this, again, to thicken your paint. Um, now, the more I use versus paint, it will slightly change it. I don't know if you guys can see over there. but So you honestly, first of all, I got all these colors because I'm demoing today. But if you only know that you're doing a blue and a green section, only do the blue and the green section right here. That way you can only have blue and green on your paint palette. Now, when you're done with the blue and green section and you need orange, go get it. Don't get all the colors right away. You're gonna need all the colors because he paints very, very colorfully, but just don't get them all right away. Also, with that in mind, you don't have a lot of room to blend on here and mix. So if you need a second one of these, you can get it. Um, you're just going to have to have probably two bags to keep everything in. Okay, so this already went. Brother. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to start. Um, I like to zoom in on kind of where I am. At, you can use your phone too if you want. I like a digital image because that's the purest of the colors. Once you print an image, it slightly changes it, but I want to have you guys all have a printed image just in case. So I've drawn what I wanted to. Very, very basic. This took me five minutes. It shouldn't take you longer than that. Nothing of his, again, is super detailed. And most likely, I'm going to end up painting over all of this anyways. And why the heck did I even draw? Just to get placement, really. Okay, so here we go. Get some of that. Really fun mixing with a paint palette. Or a palette knife. Probably would be easier on a flatter surface. I might look into that. Okay. So this is me just getting that first layer down. Not worrying about perfection right now because it needs to have that first layer. You know what? I really, in reality, never use these. I use a plate. This is so fucking ridiculous. I'm gonna have to get you guys a plate or something to mix on. I am gonna be honest with you. I never use a palette knife to paint, so this is an extra challenge for me as well. A lot of artists do it, so I wanted that extra challenge. Okay, now I see these scrapes right now, but when I go in and add the extra colors, you're not going to see these scrapes. Um, same thing, if things get too uh, wet, blow dryer, always use the blow dryer. A little white. 
light in there. That's not even gonna work. <laughs> Just literally wipe it off and keep on trucking along. I brought the water just in case. Medium. Hello, get in there. <laughs> Are we having fun? Okay. <laughs> Watching me struggle. I'm gonna get you guys plates or something because this is ridiculous. I would say mainly maybe just have the water. Gosh, flipping darn it. <laughs> but you virtuals are gonna be like, you're crazy, Mrs. Gladstone. Okay. Um, this is so much fun. <laughs> an actual brown in the cabinet, but I'm trying to make things go faster. Okay, first base of the tree done. I'm totally going to go back and edit that. That's not really, really done done. But anyways, my point still stands with the fact that this is a lot faster than a paintbrush because you're not getting at those tiny details that you normally would get at. All right, uh, this. Okay. I'm just gonna go here and get some of those black values down. Yeah, I like using the edge, that was fun. <laughs> okay, you're gonna see, once this dries, how thick this really is on your canvas. or something that you can work on because this is just a joke. So have fun with it. I love the fact that this is not going to be neat and perfect. I like the extra challenge of that. I hope you do too. Um, so really what you're graded on is, is does it look like it's in the style of the artist? Um, did you use the colors that he normally uses? Did you work with a palette knife the entire time? Okay, it's definitely, it's when you're used to it, like the artist was used to it, he just breezed by, no problem. For me, I'm not used to this. So this is gonna take, it's a learning curve for me even, and it will be a learning curve for you as well. Um, so get proportions down, really, really basic. Then what I want you to do is start with paint. Okay, again, we're not gessoing this. This would be fun if I was doing some grass, but I'm not. Okay, it's gonna be messy. Um, any questions for me?